Okay friends, in this video we are going to learn how to download files from the internet and we'll learn about a couple of different methods. So, begin with a blank form and first we're going to add three buttons. Alright, button number one, right click, go to the properties of that button. Let's move this over a little bit. Okay, change the font size. 20 is good. Alright, easy to read. There you go. Alright, let's change the display to text. Now the text that I'm going to put here says download with freezing. So when we click this button, it will download a file, but it's going to freeze our program so it becomes unusable during the download. Okay. So then add another button. And okay, let's change the name of this in code. So scroll down and rename it where it says button one. We'll call this here BTN with freezing. Like that. Okay, let's add, so right click, copy that, paste it down below. Alright, and now this one here, we'll call this one BTN no freezing. And then change the display to text on it so that it says download without freezing like that. So you understand the purpose. And one more button, so we can open up the file highlighted in Windows Explorer. So right-click, copy, and then Control-V down below, like that. Right-click, properties on the third button there, and change the display to text property value. So it says, open file in Windows Explorer. And then scroll down. And rename it so it says btn open file. That's it. So we should have these three controls btn no freezing, btn open file, btn with freezing. Those are the names of the objects in code. So here now, left double click and download with freezing first. And up here, okay, so now we're inside the program here and we're going to say using like this using system.net, like that. Okay, so needed to make a web client object, so you can use it to download files. So then right here, right before it says public form one, I haven't really talked much about this. Remember, that is called the constructor. Okay, so this is called the constructor. It's a specific kind of method, and it, it runs when the form is made. And this particular constructor simply calls another method called initialize component, which remember we reviewed in a previous lesson is where everything is set. All right, so here, right before the constructor type web and then client and then name it client and then make a new client object. So type new web client, that's it, okay? So declare and set a new client object. Okay, to make use of this client, go into the code that will define the body of with freezing and type the following code. Here, we also need a way of choosing the location of the save of the file. So type SAV like that and then drag a save file dialog in. So it looks like that. And you can leave the properties that it has by default. So now we have remember, right? Three buttons. And we have save file dialog one. So go back into form one .cs and make sure you're within that code. Okay, so button with freezing and now type the following here. We will say if save file dialog one dot show dialog. So that means you're gonna show the save file dialog first. And if that there somebody uses to choose click, right, okay, you'll say dialog result dot okay. So somebody clicks OK, it'll take a sequence of actions. In our case, to be honest, there's only one action, which is that of downloading the file. That's it. So you don't even need curly braces after the if. Just type after the if the following here. We'll say client.download, and not data, but file, like that. It's a client.download file, and then it's a string address, string file name. So string address is... The address that you put in, for example, in the browser, you know, text box to navigate to msn.com, for example, and so on. And the file name is what it will be called in our system, essentially. It's the one that will be chosen using the save file dialog. 
So here, type the following between double quotes now. Type HTTPS and then slash slash, and then we will say pixabay.com. That's a great website with free commercial free images and videos. And then we'll say slash, and then we'll say the following here EN, and then videos, and then slash, and then download, and then slash video, and then 5194 and then underscore and then source.mp4 like that and then put a comma and then save file dialog one dot file name so this here will simply save now one observation to be made is this one remember we called the button with freezing so you, here download file has the effect of freezing the interface like this while the download occurs so the program essentially becomes unusable so if you had a long download the program would be unusable for a long period of time see so it's, an, it's a solution but I'll show you a better one shortly and then lastly because we want to be able to open up the program in Windows Explorer come up here and type using system.diagnostics like that so needed to make use of process.start so go back to format.cs design view and then left double click and open file in Windows Explorer and add this code. It's just a, literally a single line of code. So process that start and then between double codes type explorer.exe. Now you probably obviously don't remember it downloading and installing this, but this is the file explorer that comes with Windows by default. So it's just there usually. All right. Oh, it's always there basically and then says string arguments so now you're going to put a double quote slash and then select comma so that right there will have the effect of making the file selected when we open it up in Windows File Explorer and then add the file name so you'll type save file dialog one that file name like that okay so here the effect is open Windows Explorer like this with files selected or highlighted if you like that's the objective of that line All right, so that's the code it's not too much click start all right now we're going to close click download with freezing so notice that the save file dialog comes up as it should I'm going to call it earth and notice the filter down below so where it says save as type is nothing okay for our purposes it doesn't matter just click save and when I do that I'm gonna override it notice the program if I try to move it is frozen you see it's not allowing me to do, interact with it because the download is occurring and this is frozen and then now it's not frozen anymore because the download is finished so now I'm gonna click here and notice that I've opened it up and it's selected in Windows Explorer. So now I'm going to left double click and choose the file that I want to, you know, use to open it. So I'm going to choose Windows Media Player. And there's the Earth. So it's working as expected. Okay. Close that, close that, close this. Now I go back to formon.cs and then left to double click and download without freezing. And now it's almost the same code. Take that, copy it essentially, and then paste it into that space below. All right, the only difference is here type download file async. Now async is short for basically asynchronously. So here, let's change the comment. The comment is this one. Download file async has the effect of downloading the file in the background essentially right while the program remains usable okay so the interface does not freeze during the download even if it were like a very long download you could continue to use the program if it had other features you see all right now notice that when I hover my mouse over it, it says the first thing that it takes is a URI so a URI basically is something, an object that we have to build up. So type new and then URI like that. And then you can leave the string for the address between double quotes. That's what it uses. You see that? 
But there are other versions you see like that. Uh, this is good for our purposes, then close it. So this is going to build up a new URI object. That stands uh, for the Uniform Users Identifier. Right click, go to the properties of it, or the definition of URI. And it looks like this, you see? Some, some, of, these, some of these comments, uh, they're not particularly helpful, right? But it's all here. And then after that, you can still have the save file dialog one that file name. So now let's take a look. Click start and download without freezing. And again, I'm going to choose Earth. And now look very carefully. I'm going to click save, overwrite it. And notice now I can move the program. You see, it's not frozen anymore while the download is occurring. I can click that. And notice that Earth is still available right here. And right now it's 11.19, and notice that the timestamp on it is 11.19 a.m. So this is the latest version of it. And as before, if I, you know, left to double click, I can bring up and play it in the Windows Media Player. That's it. So it's working as expected. Close that. Close that. There you go. So you've learned a couple of new methods for downloading files in a couple of different ways, together with opening and highlighting them in Windows Explorer. Alright friends, that is it for this one. Thanks so much. I'll see you in another one.